So, hey guys, we're on a new segment. We're going to talk of the town. Today we got a special guest, Costax. Costax in the building. For the people that don't know that's following you, where are you from? From the Bronx, South Bronx. South Bronx. So, what's it like in the South Bronx, like growing up over there? It's dangerous. <laughs> it's really dangerous. So, um, so how did you get into music? Um, I, so basically, my mom could sing. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I was raised in church, so I was forced to sing. Um, but really, really, my mom could sing, and it's like, uh, my mom could sing, my aunt made beats. She's a producer. So it was kind of But like a whole family doing music, music yeah, right? Yeah, it was kind of okay. like bound to happen. It was bound to like, do music, or I was going to do something dealing with music. So. So when did you start taking it serious? Like when they first got you in the booth? Or was or was your friends? My or? first time being in the studio was like four years old. Oh. I did my first song, but like... I was At four years old? old? So like, oh, so they wrote it out for you? Yeah, type shit? Oh. I said, hell no. Okay. <laughs> I did my first song. I did it on the same And But after that song, they tried to like, you know... Force it on you. Force lyrics right for me and I only came one more. So... I waited till I was like about... To go to the studio on my own, okay. Record my own music, write my own songs. Okay. So I say seventeen, and I really took it seriously. seriously. Okay. So um, so who was you listening to growing up? Like, who were some artists that inspired you, growing up? Okay. Chris Brown, T Pain. So a little bit of everybody. Um, yeah, like a little, like more of the R B. Yeah. Of like two thousand is what I really got to. Okay. Really, like listen to a lot of rappers, but like okay. I fuck with the rappers, but I ain't bumped them over there. Like, I really listen to more R B than rap hip hop. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna ask, do you consider yourself a rapper or a singer? I well not <laughs> an artist. Man. I feel like I'm like a musician. So like, I could do both, man. For me, so I don't like try to stay in my lane. I don't really okay. rap. I don't really sing. I just don't really sing. I just for me put out something. I really gotta focus. Okay, okay. So out of all the songs out, what's your favorite one so far? My favorite song right now. Right now. Is like what you see. That's my favorite. That's out. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's out. Right, that's so that's out. out. Is like what you see. All right. So the, the one favorite one in the stash. What's one we should look out for? That's some fire. <laughs> you got a pull name up. already? Yeah, it's called Pull Up. Pull Up? Yeah, it's more like a little vibe, like Chris Brown vibe, song type of shit. Like, no singing, rapping, but it's more for the lady, you know? It's kind of like another, like what you see, but. Okay, a little slower. different? Slower? Yeah, it's more slower. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, the what like the like what you see challenge, how that went? Like what you see challenge is valid. I got two, um, two winners. I haven't posted them yet. I got one that I'm working on a song with them. Okay. So post it when the song done. When they, when they ready with the song. Okay. And then I got another, another um, winner was a, a kid. Okay. TikTok. All right. So what inspired that challenge? Like what made you want to do that challenge? All right. So my first challenge that I ever did, I feel like it kind of like got my song more. More strength. traction. Okay. So my first challenge was Storm. I did a song called Storm during the beginning of the pandemic. Mm-hmm. That song kind of like. Like during the pandemic, because everything was so quiet, that that song kind of like got me like a little bit more shaken. Okay. So I did the the open verse challenge, and I was like, well, let yeah. me just do like the see open verse challenge, because I have a feature on it for me. The, the okay, official the, feature. The official remix. I have a feature on it, so. Can we can we know who that feature? Sure. <laughs> sure. We soon we soon. We soon. It soon drop. Yeah, it soon drop. Okay, it soon drop. It's okay. It's on my EP, the original and the feature. Bonus, yeah, got it. But, um, so I want to do the challenge and just to get to like see people create creative side. I want to do it like, not just verse, but like music, dancing, different. Mm -hmm. things. I want to see people like creative side. So I was like, okay, let's just do it. All right, and then as you see artists creative side, what makes you like reach out to artists like after like? I reach out to artists all the time, even before the challenge, because like if I see like my cousin, they bump a lot of different rappers. Mm -hmm. So I'll be listening and. They'll bump it so, cause it's like all the time that, so I'll 
sometimes I, I know a lot of unknown rappers' music, like a lot of up and coming rappers' music, and I, I probably don't even know who they are. Right. So when I do find out who they are, I'll hit them up like, yo, keep doing your thing, it's your work. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, so have artists done that to you? Like any yeah. artist reach out to you, be like, yo, keep a working. Lot, a lot of artists. So who's who's the artist that reached out that like shocked you? Um, or you were surprised that they even in tune? Mm. Any yet? I mean, I seen like J Balvin. J and I, J Balvin. <laughs> J Balvin. Nah, yeah. I, I'd say I'd say J Balvin. Okay. But I met him in person, so it was different. It was different. It wasn't a DM. Yeah, it, it was, was like a, a DM in person vibe. He was. He told like he told me like yo, tell your engineer to leave the song in the studio so he could tap in. So that's how I. That's how okay, I, so he's definitely gonna tap in. Gonna be looking for that soon. <laughs> so um, so tell us um, any other collabs you have on the way that you can tell us about? Uh, collabs. I got a song with Freddie Luciano. Okay. Yeah, that's like Okay. And you. Okay. 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 I want to say like, do you have something with Lil TJ? I know you and Lil TJ was close. Nah, yeah, we still that's gang. Me and Lil TJ, we we had like back and forth music like sent to each other type shit. Okay. Hop on this. Hop on that. Okay. But then we never really like lock, locked in. Locked in, locked in. 100%. Like, when we lock in, we gonna lock in for me more or less. Like, it was more like, yo, bro, it's an open verse. Like, that vibe. But we gonna lock in for sure. Like, I, I wanna make sure when we lock in, we lock in in the studio. The vibes is everything. The vibes are calm. <laughs> All I right. Like, everybody wants that TJ feature ready. I don't know, yeah. People was going crazy for that. Okay. And he going up. He just did some shit with J. Cole. But um, oh, yeah. yeah, that shit, yeah, that's just going up. Um, what was I gonna say? So, dream collab. Is there any artist that's on your bucket list that you wanna collab with? Um, as of right now, I'm gonna work with Tory Lanez. Even still, um, fuck all that shit. <laughs> Tory Lanez. I'm gonna work with Tory. Okay, okay. Tory, Tory, Tory Lanez sound is different. I don't see a lot of Tory Lanez features. Nah. No. So I feel like Tory Lanez is one person I want to work with. He, he do reach out to people, though. I heard Tory Lanez be reaching out to folks. Uh, that's nothing. Wow. Um, um, hey, I need to feature. All right. Okay. Okay. But you call yourself the princess of New York. Let's get into that. Why Why you feel like you that? All right. So, all right. So, yeah. So, basically, I call myself the princess of New York. And that's because, like, all right, so, you know, everybody doing the king of New York, prince mm -hmm. of New York. Uh, so I feel like far as my generation, me coming up, like, not no Nicki Harvey situation, but in my age bracket and my image, there's mm -hmm. no female stud. I don't be disrespectful, so no female <laughs> stud. Okay. AG that's doing what I'm doing as of right now. I, like, I've seen a lot of different people coming up and they grinding, but I don't mm -hmm. feel like nobody right now is really fucking with Looking with like the streets. Music. As well with female artists too, but I see a lot of female artists they in a different bracket. For me, a lot of female artists more like the city girl bracket. I'm yeah. Like whole different. Yeah, I'm melodic. Lane, yeah. And I don't feel like nobody stepped in my lane yet. So okay. All right. So, um, yeah. So you're gonna drop a project called that yeah, Princess project, of New York. Princess New York, ten song EP. Um, you gonna go crazy? I got a couple. Like I got half. Trenches have vibes. So. Have vibes. So, um, so any deadlines? Like, when when could we expect the tape? All right, so I was supposed to drop it for my birthday, but I kind of, um, I was going through something for me around that time, so I kind of, like, held it back, but I'm really trying to drop it September 30th. September 30th? Yeah, I'm not trying to wait no longer than September 30th. All right, so before October, September, yeah. definitely going to do a listening party, all listening that fun party. shit. Everybody invited, good vibes, and we <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So what um what's some what's one of your biggest accomplishments so far? So you've been doing the music seriously since seventeen. I feel like my biggest accomplishment right now is um I got my own crib. So okay. Music, so right? moving out so, types yeah, it. So I feel like that's one of my biggest accomplishments. I made my own bag off music, I got my own crib off music. Mm-hmm. 
But another accomplishment I say is like going on tour again to explore the world, performing in front of thousands of people. Okay. Thousands of people. That's like another. Well, a place you performed that that was like, oh shit, it's lit. Nah, my favorite state is Boston. Really? Yeah, Boston. Them low key in the cut states. The cut I heard they be well in too. They acted. I ain't gonna lie. That was like one of my first. Biggest festival was in Boston, and that shit was crazy. And they was turned up after Every time that. I go to Boston, they turned up. They know all my words to my soul. Like, that's really, like, believe it or not, that's really my favorite state. That's really my soul and everything. So what is the place that you got to perform at, that you see the, you got to perform at? Summer Jam, so <laughs> All of them. Yeah, I need to stop playing. Tap in. I need to do Summer Jam. I feel like New York, I got to do Summer Jam. Right. One, of these, one, one, one time for one time, I got to do Summer Jam. Yeah. You know people be like rolling I'm loud. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, people be like rolling loud, powerhouse, but Summer Jam too. Summer Jam, I feel like Summer Jam, like rolling loud, I've been, I'm, I've been on stage with TJ performing shit. But I feel like Summer Jam, like they just started rolling out in New York. Like, yeah. Before we didn't have it rolling out in New York. Summer Jam is like a New York thing. Yeah. Tri state thing. Original. So be, that's going to be a different vibe for me because I'm from there. Yeah. Definitely. So, um, so like, I'm sure fans be stopping, people be tapping in. What was like the craziest fan interaction you had so far? Uh, <laughs> or has it been any? Or they kind of calm? Yeah, nah, some. I I done had people. All right, so this is before I started driving. Before I had a driver, I didn't even think I had that much blood. I was coming off the bus, uh -huh. and somebody was on the bus recording me. Oh. I got off the bus and they text me like, yo, you call sex to see me on the bus. So I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I'm so crazy. I didn't even know who it was. So they didn't even stop you. They just. Nah, they just, they just text me. But then I feel like the craziest reaction I had was like in the mall. And he had to be out the mall. <laughs> I seen a couple of people to do. Remember, um, what was it? The dude, he was like, yo, he tried to like be funny. I was with some girl on him. And. Like he knew me, uh -huh. and he knew the girl, so he tried to like low key like get next to me because of the girl, and then uh -huh. he tried some funny shit. Show him he's gonna love, so he had to get me out of there. Now we out. But that was on some damn. Yo, we would call yo. That's your girl, bro. Like try to press me, but like on some excited pressing the shit. Yeah, shit. trying to be funny. Do you feel like that happens a lot in New York? People trying to get clout so bad, uh, just doing cloudy stuff. Yeah, everybody wants clout. So what advice would you give an upcoming artist that's trending right now? Like, how could you be on point with that, I guess? I mean, when it comes to, like, entertainment, I'm not going to lie, yeah. I don't be having time to entertain people. But when I do have time, they be bad. I flame. <laughs> they be tight. But, like, I feel like it depends on your energy. If it's going to bring you down, then don't entertain it, feel me? Like, I feel like a lot of things that people try to do, like, I mean, people that try to, like, start fake beef. Okay, so staying focused. Feel me? Don't even entertain that. Let me get money. But if you know it ain't gonna bother you, talk shit. <laughs> hold, it, hold it down. Feel me? Talk shit. That's what I'll do. Staying focused. Staying focused. I was gonna say, like, is it like hard being like a AG and and doing music? Do you feel like you get like mixed fans? Do you feel like people don't take you serious? Like, how you feel? All right, so. All right, so basically, uh, I feel like some people are confused. Some of my fans don't know I'm a girl. Okay. A lot of them. Like, he, he be having people come up to him like, yo, God. <laughs> he be telling me, like, yo, we need to do some controversial shit, bro, so people know you're a girl. I'm like, yo, you're a girl. You're not with it? Maybe for a video, though, like, on some, on some, feel me, on some funny stuff. On some, um. But, I feel like I got, like, my fans fuck with me. My fans is loyal. I'm okay. Not, uh, I, I feel like. Does that bother you that your fans don't know you're a girl or boy? Or you don't care? Nah, I really don't care. Okay. I mean, like, when they ask, I just tell them, like, it only bother me. Like, it don't bother me. It don't bother me. Only time it bother me is, like, when a person try to be funny and they know what it is. Like, for me, mm. like, I feel like I don't have people try to troll me. Like, oh, look, he, she, or some shit. I'm like, oh, you bored. <laughs> you really that bored? Are like, you trying to be funny? Okay. Like, that, but other than that, it don't bother me. Like, when my fans call me and he, I don't get mad. I'll be like, feel me? Or they'll be like, oh my God, I'm sorry. I'll be like, yeah, it's cool. Okay. I'll get upset about it. Yeah, so just just going with the flow. Yeah, just sure. if you support, you support type shit. So, what advice would you give someone that's like following you 
and wants to be an upcoming artist and is probably like in the same, you know, shoes as you. Like, what did you have, to, what shell did you have to break, I guess, being an AG and doing music and, you know? You gotta not give two fucks. <laughs> to be honest, for me, like, what's meant for you will be for you. So it's like, if you know you got a talent, a gift, if you know you wanna, you wanna do something, you just gotta do it. And it's like, eventually, all the haters will become a fan, you feel me? So I tell, like, I tell everybody that, all my friends, everybody, like, you're gonna overcome obstacles that you thought probably, like, two years ago you would never overcome. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I don't be giving two fucks about how people opinions, I do, like, I do me. So when it comes to music, I do me. I tell all my, like, my cousin, I tell you, you're going to make it, my boy. You just got to keep focused, stay focused. Drive. Stay focused. Figure out what you want to do for me, because at the end of the day, it's a plan. You got to plan with yourself. Mm -hmm. You can't worry about everybody else. Like, nobody else going to sit there and be with you 24 hours, you feel me? Yeah. You're thinking about how to make it, like, how mm -hmm. to make a million dollars. Like, nobody going to be there when you really to yourself, so you got to... Have that plan and set that goal for yourself and just do it and go from there and run with it. Type eventually, shit. The, for me, the good always beats the odds. Yeah, so just stay in focus pretty much. So, um, so what should your fans look forward to? This EP that's coming out in this new one. I'm about to drop a new single Friday. New just single? For the for me. I feel like I haven't dropped Say the date because I'm going to try to have this out Friday though. Friday, <laughs> Friday is the. Friday the 13th. Okay, the 13th. 13th wow, Friday the 13th. That's my yeah, funny. Friday the 13th. I'm dropping a song called For Real. Okay. We're going to go up. It's, just a, it's a song for the guys. For me, it's for the trenches. Okay.